So my dad died uh, about a decade ago. And my wife and I and our, our kids were living in Atlanta. And my uh, parents were living in Central Florida, which is about eight hours away. And so when my father died, obviously we headed down to Central Florida, uh, to Lakeland, to be there for several days with my mom and my family and what have you. And my dad had worked at a college uh, in Lakeland. And so the funeral was going to actually be, uh, rather than a church, was going to be in um, the chapel of that college. And um, one picture I will always remember that day is the family coming in last and going in sitting in the front of the church. Um, people were already gathered there. And as I walked in, I looked over to the side um, and there were Richard and Debbie who were people that we knew in Atlanta, but we were not close friends. We knew them, we were certainly um, cordial and, and friendly, um, but we weren't close friends. We'd never done anything with them socially. And when I walked into that chapel and I looked and I saw Richard and Debbie sitting there, um, I was stunned that they had driven eight hours to go to my father's funeral. And when the funeral was over, I went over to them and I said, you know, thank you so much for being here, it means a lot. And I always remember Richard saying, um, I remember when my dad died. And I just thought it was the least I could do just to come and to show up because I know it's a special and important moment in your life. And then he shared with me, you know, I worked yesterday and we drove through the night. So he'd worked till five or six and drove eight hours from Atlanta down to Lakeland, um, had breakfast when they got to Florida and then came to the funeral. And I thought to myself, what a remarkably generous, uh, and kind thing to do to help us bury the dead uh, and to honor us simply just by being there to stand with us even though we didn't know them all that well. Incredible, incredible mercy and kindness.